This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the projects and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project websites at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 430-202-5 or cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 430-202-8. We encourage your input and feedback about these projects. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by October 19, 2021, 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. A recording of this presentation is posted on each project's webpage. The Florida Department of Transportation is required to comply with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concern about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5, Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at jacqueline.terramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. This meeting was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register on FDOT's Public Notices website, the Florida Today newspaper, on social media, and on the project webpage. In addition, adjacent property owners, interested individuals, elected and appointed officials, and government agencies were also notified about this public meeting. With any roadway improvement project, Access to property is always a concern. Access management is the coordinated planning, regulation, and design of access between roadways and land development. It promotes the efficient and safe movement of people and goods by reducing conflicts on the roadway system and at its interface with other modes of travel. If you have any access management questions or comments, please let us know. In 2019, the City of Cape Canaveral adopted a city resolution to improve State Road A1A. It included realigning International Drive to meet State Road A1A at North Atlantic Avenue, reducing speeds to 35 miles per hour, adding new mid-block crossings, and adding urban roadway safety improvements such as wide medians, landscaping, street furniture, curb and gutter, wide sidewalks, and buffered and protected bike lanes. FDOT has worked closely with the city and Space Coast TPO to plan improvements to meet the city's vision. The planned improvements work together to encourage slower speeds and provide safer options for pedestrians and bicycles. The roundabout serves as a gateway, while landscaping, additional signalized crosswalks, and other elements blend together to help maintain slower speeds and multimodal safety throughout the corridor. Let's look at the specifics of each project. The first project, 430202-5, is on State Road A1A from south of International Drive to Long Point Road in Cape Canaveral. The purpose of this project is to realign the intersection of International Drive and State Road A1A. International Drive will be reconstructed to align with North Atlantic Avenue to the east of State Road A1A. 
This will create a safer intersection that will improve mobility and safety within the corridor. In addition to realigning International Drive, this project will construct a roundabout at the realigned intersection, enhance pedestrian and bicycle safety features at the roundabout, resurface State Road A1A, install raised medians north and south of the intersection, and improve and reconstruct sidewalks on both sides of the roadway. The project also includes drainage improvements, landscaping, lighting, and utility adjustments. The modern roundabout design was selected at this location due to its advantages over a signalized intersection. Roundabouts increase safety by dramatically reducing serious injury and fatality crashes. Roundabouts reduce travel delay by improving intersection efficiency. And roundabouts tend to be more environmentally friendly by reducing pollution and fuel consumption and typically require less space than a traditional signalized intersection. Links to more information on roundabouts are on the project website. What is a modern roundabout? A modern roundabout is a circular intersection where vehicles travel around the central island. Drivers must yield to traffic in the circle before entering. They have a truck apron to allow for trucks to make the wide turns. This design will have bike lanes and crosswalks for pedestrians and cyclists to travel through the intersection as well. Modern roundabouts also mean simpler traffic movement for users. First, drivers approaching the roundabout will only have vehicles coming toward them from the left. Lane markings that begin well before the roundabout help drivers know which lane to be in. If a car is traveling through on State Road A1A, they can be in either lane and will not have to change lanes. The geometry of a modern roundabout also helps to naturally slow traffic and vehicles generally travel at a fairly consistent speed through the intersection. Finally, pedestrian crossings are placed prior to the traffic merging point so drivers aren't faced with both pedestrian and vehicle conflicts. This simulation illustrates how drivers, pedestrians, and bicyclists will navigate the roundabout. The video is also available for viewing on the project website and on a separate screen at the in-person location. Here we see the overall proposed improvements for the 430202-5 project. For those calling in or those attending online who may want a closer look, this exhibit is also available on the project webpage. For those in person tonight, there is a display board here at the meeting for you to view. We are currently in the design phase of the project schedule. Final design is anticipated to be completed by summer 2022. Right-of-way acquisition will be needed 
and is expected to begin in summer 2022. Construction is funded and expected to start in early 2026. We welcome your questions and comments about this project. For those in attendance at the in-person location, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 430-202-5. You may also email your comments and questions to FDOT project manager Anthony Miller at anthony.miller at dot.state.fl.us. You can mail written comments and questions to Mr. Miller at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Miller at 386-943-5530 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours after the public meeting. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. The second project, 430202-8, is on State Road A1A from Long Point Road to George King Boulevard in Cape Canaveral. The project proposes to reconstruct the corridor as a complete street with safer travel options for pedestrians, bicyclists, and drivers. In addition to reconstructing the roadway along this segment of State Road A1A, this project proposes to construct a raised grass median with landscaping for beautification and to encourage lower speeds, to provide upgraded and clearly marked crosswalks, to include mid-block crossing opportunities to improve pedestrian access and mobility, to upgrade sidewalks and add a separated bike lane to improve road safety for all users. The corridor currently has four lanes, two in each direction, with a two-way center left turn lane. There are four foot wide shoulders and what we call swale drainage with no curb and gutter, meaning that stormwater runs off the road and into the grassy area. There is also a sidewalk on both sides of the road. The proposed typical section for State Road A1A will have two lanes of travel in each direction, separated by a raised median. It will add a five foot wide separated cycle track on both sides of the roadway and upgrade sidewalks. Less experienced bicycle riders as well as younger and more vulnerable bicyclists are more comfortable when there is some form of separation from moving cars. The proposed separated bicycle track will accommodate these users as well as the more confident users. The complete streets improvements proposed as part of this project will tie into the roundabout at North Atlantic Avenue to provide safe travel space for drivers, pedestrians, and bicyclists. Other proposed enhancements include landscaping to help manage speed, upgraded lighting along the corridor, upgraded traffic signals, and improved drainage. Here is a short video clip of the proposed improvements to the corridor, including an example of the new pedestrian crosswalks. The video is also available for viewing on the project website and on a separate screen at the in-person location. We are currently in the early design phase of the project schedule. Final design and permitting are to be completed by summer 2023. Right-of-way acquisition and construction are currently not funded. We welcome your questions and comments about this project. For those in attendance at the in-person location, you may speak to our project staff on the floor 
or complete a printed comment form and return to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 430-202-8. You may also email your comments and questions to the project manager, Lori Trebitz, directly at lori.trebitz at dot.state.fl.us. You can mail written comments and questions addressed to FDOT Project Manager Lori Trebitz at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 552, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5538 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours following the public meeting. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received in the mail. To learn about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 430-202-5 or 430-202-8 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. We encourage your input and feedback about these projects. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by October 19th, or 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on these projects. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by October 19th. Contact information, the meeting presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting will be posted on the project websites at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 430-202-5 and cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 430-202-8. This concludes the presentation. Have a good evening.